<laughs> so, hey, let's watch it. We're talking about it again. By it, I mean to address the elephant in the room, femboys. You know, maybe we, talk we love femboys here a bit too much on this channel. We I do love femboys here. Watching those femboy videos have a glisten in your. Oh, mind. sorry, it might be a little bit too quiet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll turn it up right away. I because you're so in love with them. There you go. You oh, that might be a little bit too loud. There's nothing wrong with liking a person with feminine qualities and all the attributes of a girl. Just with a side salad of cock and balls. Not my cup of tea, but you do you. I'll judge you from afar. But today we're going to be talking about one femboy in particular mm -hmm. who recently got banned <gasps> off YouTube, had oh. thousands donated to them, acquired a stalker that followed them all the way to their hometown, had a plethora of allegations rallied up against them, so much so they ended up on their favourite YouTuber's radar for a matter of seconds only to be met with somewhat distaste, as said oh, allegations man. seem to skewer mm. their favourite YouTuber's opinion on them, albeit for a Let's few seconds of knowing who they are. And okay, it gets enjoy. even worse when you know their favourite YouTuber was Moist Critical, or oh, Charlie. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about the femboy VTuber Bunga Tiger. How f***ing degenerate do you have to be to like, unironically, like, to a I'm not a furry, but that do be looking kind of cute. <laughs> Where did Tiger come from? I don't know. Like, to me, Tiger, like, I remember Tiger first appearing on uh, my Twitter timeline as well, where they have said, uh, where they were talking about how YouTube uh, banned them and all that shit. I, I saw that all. I'm not a furry, but honestly, um, on a scale, of uh, from zero to ten of fanboy, definitely a fanboy out of ten. Your mic sounded like a potato trying to make a screaming sound using a whip on the roller coaster. <laughs> when? Might be because I have the mic in a different position now from before. A fam dog VTuber <laughs> on Twitch. You know what I mean? Like. You gotta be pretty like someone you may know from the clips shared online, from their streams on platforms <laughs> such as YouTube, as there are quite a lot of them, many somewhat phallic in nature. <laughs> but that's the just fuck? the internet at this point, and most online femboys for some reason. Dog, I wanna, ha I wanna, I wanna be a dog. Oh, dog, because I do make good dog noises. That wasn't even a good bark. That wasn't even a good bark! Bro! He should learn from that, um... Actual girl that is actually pretending to be a dog. That one... That girl really did make good dog sounds. Kurt Cobain POV. Because there is an incentive to this behavior. Although some of them could genuinely have this personality, you can't say it doesn't generate a lot of money. And if you hold any malice towards them for this, probably... Hate Male more than the horn dogs in the chat. They're not my thing money. either. Hate the game, not the alt pink femboy playing it. But not just to be discriminatory, either. all femboy VTubers basically are the same, except their differing uh. avatar and tone of voice. I wouldn't know. I don't really watch. I'm sorry to admit, but I don't really watch femboy VTubers. I smell, a smell. I, I smell a boy. What, what is the boy thing here? Oh, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? They're, they're, they're... I'm sorry. Someone had to say it. But anyway, instead of me being an encyclopedia on femboys, Bunga Tiger. They get somewhat of a poor reputation, not all of it valid, and most of it mm. tangled in misinformation. However, the oh, biggest what? question, if you don't know who they are, is who is Bunga Tiger? Well, Bunga Tiger started streaming back on the 27th of April 2020, the peak oh, of shit. the coronavirus lockdown, years ago. where many of us were stuck inside, left to confront our internal demons, <laughs> or just play numerous games of Valorant, CSGO, and maybe VR chat to fill the void that was human mm -hmm. communication and contact. Or do some soul searching and discover you like wearing thigh highs because they're warm and totally not because you're like feminine things. They're just programming socks, guys, which is the first <laughs> phase of being a femboy. Uh, <laughs> or do some soul searching Where and discover this? you like wearing thigh highs because they're warm and totally not because you're like feminine things. They're just pro programming socks, guys. Where did this? come from that they are programming socks like i know that that has been like a saying or like people literally saying programming socks 
But like, why is that a thing? Is what I'm asking. Like, what? Where did the where did it come from? They wear them, but like, why? Why do they wear them? Why is it the programmers? Just ask Neko. He wears them too. He me out. Just wear pajamas, literally. Finster is a buff fanboy now, in my opinion. I wouldn't know. Don't watch Finster. Why are uh, all the computer programming geniuses all fanboys? Also, why? You know? Which is the first phase of being a fanboy. However, Tiger garnered attention <laughs> through their explicit and borderline NSFW personality. This attention made okay. them known to YouTube clippers, who are the bottom feeders of YouTube, that is a compliment, <laughs> don't worry, who most of the time clip okay. anything remotely entertaining and then re-upload it to YouTube. Nice. Uh, nice. do it, clap. Who within the ecosystem of said platforms like YouTube actually significantly benefit creators. Literally, we talked about that yesterday. Which basically is a form of mutualism, but Tiger yeah. was mainly targeted by the Femboy Clippers. Yes, they exist. Just like Linux, there are many flavors of Clippers. And if you what remotely the? understood that reference, you're definitely a Femboy. But Tiger didn't, didn't entirely benefit from this interaction, as they were never significantly credited, leading them to start their own YouTube channel and clip their own streams. A YouTube channel which recently was removed Some off by of clippers, YouTube yeah, apparently. due to sexually explicit content you did. and possibly people mass reporting them. Because somewhat due to their explicit content, they also acquired a Did lot of stalkers. No, stalkers which so. had a big hand in the downfall of their reputation. But they were a big financial benefit, as one of them was supposedly a millionaire donating two. Not gonna lie, the sound of Tiger caught me off guard sounds very feminine. I agree. Like, if no one told me that um, Tyga is a guy, like it's a femboy. I would think it's a woman, like just from the tone of the voice. Hundred and from Ohio, that explains it. Oh, hey, hey. life is my creation. Is my sixty thousand k friend? Imagination is my defense. Good stream, everybody. Had a lot of fun. Now. <laughs> Holy shit. But yeah, Tiger's voice sounds so feminine. That's insane. And before Tiger's actually just a woman, just pretending to be a femboy. I don't care how masculine you are. <laughs> you're probably not anywhere. A twig probably has more testosterone than you do. But 250k is 250k. If I knew I was about to get that money, the thigh highs would go on almost immediately. <laughs> Don't lie to me, you'd do the same. But even with the financial support, this would become a problem for Tiger. Because this person had a heavy attraction to Tiger, to say the least. Oh, and admirably, oh no. even with the prospect of money, Tiger oh no. shut down all of their advances. But before doing that, did hold a line of communication with them for a while. But this eventually fell apart when Tiger was obviously not interested Spicy. in their sexual advances towards them. And this what? millionaire was not happy about that. Going all the way to their hometown in Canada and filing police reports against them. Along with a bunch of homophobia and transphobia. This lasted for around six months and was what? hell for them. But fortunately when that cleared up, Tiger just... Imagine being so fucking parasocial that you enter the realm of stalking. Imagine that. Is anyone looking for femme thigh high pics? <laughs> Who was paying for a booty call? Imagine that Kitsu was the fanboy we met along the way. <laughs> Holy shit. Couldn't get a break. Controversy. Mm. My dick is fat. Previous mods of the their Twitch stream and Discord created a document basically saying. They were abusive, very much into Shota and Lollies, which are like children oh, in no. anime, and blatant transphobia and homophobia. And let's not forget, grooming. Are we talking about the Stiger? Uh, the Stiger. Okay. Are we talking about the Stalker or Tiger right now? It just feels like every crime a YouTuber can commit is always <laughs> grooming. Like, oh, no. do something cool, like tax evasion. Like, come on. <laughs> these, these accusations would be posted on. Okay, they were against Tiger, I guess. Okay. Thank you so much for the follow the skull. Welcome in. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I don't understand these people. I stalk people to make sure they get home safely, that no one but me is following them. <laughs> Hold up. 
Yandere? Online, and would reach the ears of a popular YouTuber called Nux Taku, a fellow VTuber who was on a podcast with Moist Critical, was not informed on the whole situation, but yet still made an offhand comment. Left money is this Hollow Live? No, uh, Taiga is an indie streamer who, I don't know the whole story, Okay. but Taiga was added to be a uh, oh. Now he prefaces it by saying, I don't know the whole story, but he still says it anyway, he doesn't even add allegedly anywhere. Basically, admitting you don't know the full context, yet still making the comment That's a is little the equivalent of, of being of blindfolded and throwing yeah. dog feces at people. Uh, that is... That is pretty bad from Nux on on this one chat. That is, that, that's a bad one. And Nux himself hasn't had the best reputation when it comes to similar events. Because quote unquote, he just believes what his friends tell him, and it is a bad habit of his. Then but you shouldn't talk video, about it. I was talking about it, and I, I also alleged that he did that, because close friends of mine told me, and I saw, you know, creepy conversations of him talking to kids, and or, or talking about kids, and, you know, the yeah. liking little boys, and stuff like that. Who knows if it's a joke, you know? That's and, like, kind I, of impulsive. I alleged it also, because a friend told me. I am getting that impression about him, too. When it comes to the lolly and shutter argument, which feels like it's lasted decades now, longer than Naruto Shippuden, with the argument being well, liking lollies and shirters means you like kids IRL. Even though he has associations with people that endorse or use lollies and shirters, and even has some in his thumbnails. What then the- That's disgusting. People that endorse or use nah. lollies and shirters, and- That is disgusting. Even has some in his thumbnails. Then when Except making the a video about people talking about the hypocrisy and the thumbnails, went back and changed all the thumbnails. And I'm <laughs> okay. getting involved in that shitstorm. I'm just going to let Moise... Three of them are Gura Fennot, yeah. Talk about it. Well, how, why is cutie such a big deal when anime has kids being sexualized? Well, first of all, anime is fake. Those, those like, children lolly things, those... 900 year old vampires that look like they're four years old the little cum demons that have existed for two millennia But they look like a six-year-old those aren't real people. They are animated fake things, but bunga Oh my god Are we gonna get onto the lolly disc uh, talk again? Do we need to get into that talk again? Uh -huh. Let's just move on. Those reputation was on the floor because of the allegations made against them and Nux Taku talking about it with Charlie. More negative attention was given to Tiger. They don't obviously responded to with anger when no, hearing other either. YouTubers were talking about it with no context. No, I just I don't, don't want to talk about it anymore, story. man. It's so annoying. But Tiger was added to be a uh, oh. oh, I don't know the, I don't know the whole story, but oh, we, we hoo -hoo. oh. We want to talk about. We want to talk about out of context, bro. I don't know. It's yeah. a past thing. Uh, oh boy. Like, there was the VTuber that uh, was canceled for allegedly mm -hmm. doing weird um, grooming type. Sh and uh, watch it by you, Nux. You literally, literally. You said that. No one else did. And evidently, due to this prompt, had to open up about their past stalker and try. Nux Taku lies and hypocrisy. Bongo Tiger opens up about trauma part two. Trauma as they had a hand at sullying their reputation, but they were also angry because it was a blatant smear campaign. Because, surprise, surprise, many of the allegations made against them were false. And mainly down to the fact they did not reciprocate the affection shown to them by their ex mods and past stalker, with one Lovely. allegedly only wanting to be a mod okay. to get. Okay, it was the stalker making those accusations. God fucking damn it, that- oh my god, that dude's Get insane. Close to Tiger and also, the what the fuck is duty. that art? So once both of them were removed and replaced by Tiger, they were just a tad bit angry. So they compiled a list of allegations with out-of-context screenshots of DMs, which to this day, that doc- Not gonna lie, I'm already lost. Okay, so to summarize, Tiger- Okay, to summarize, Tiger's a femboy. Um, he, uh, he was clipped by 
a fanboy clippers, but wasn't um wasn't credited. So Tiger made his own clip channel. Then he was discovered by uh like the mod slash the stalker who donated 60k something to him and tried to have like a sexual engagement with Tiger. Tiger denied like a uh, tiger shut him down. Tiger didn't want any sexual uh anything sexual with the dude. He didn't want any relationship with that dude. Then that fucking stalker drove up to Canada to stalk Tiger. And also, he also made the allegations of Tiger being a pedophile. There you go. That's the summary. <laughs> That's the summary. Stock has some money. That stalker does have some money, man. That needs to be some Saudi Arabian prince or something, man. Is no longer available on the internet. One can only wonder why. But Tiger's reputation. Oh yeah, and the stalker made that document. Nux Taku got wind of it in, in some sort of way. Uh, one of his friends told him about it, and he saw something somewhere. It, it seems, and then Nux went like, "So I don't know the entire story, but he's a pedophile." Without knowing the whole story. And now, knowing that it's... Like, now we know that shit wasn't even true. So yeah, Nuxtaku, as we said, just really impulsive. Just really, really impulsive. Getting dragged through the mud. With most people thinking they were a terrible person and a pedophile. Until a guardian agent came from the clouds of heaven, gave their career Aww. a much needed mercy res. And that was a private investigator. Oh. Who had previous cases with child endangerment and exploitation and wanted to be anonymous. But they produced the document, The Exoneration of Bungo Tiger. They found that one of the oh. people providing the evidence, which was the Discord mod Gilk, was very much infatuated with Tiger. And when they started to neglect their mod duties in favour of caressing their meat to a femboy in the form of a tiger, no. they were dropped as a mod. And due to this decision and their limited contact with Tiger now, would start badmouthing Tiger anywhere they could in general chats. To the point where they were removed from Tiger's Discord after claiming Tiger was a money whore. The document <laughs> would also uncover it was a group. But he gave him the money. You, my brother in Christ, you gave Tiger the money. What do you mean a money whore? You gave Tiger sixty k, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> what? Group effort of three people, the aforementioned Discord mod, the other Discord mod, and the Millionaire Stalker. All of which grew an attraction to Tiger, but all of them failed to get close to the thigh high where- Oh, 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 wait, was it too- Wait, is it a third person? Wait, there's so many people! I'm lost too! What?! Wearing femboy. Now on to the grooming allegations. Much the of mod, the evidence the mod, and the stalker, yeah, what?! ...context and were jerks. Money or donates 200k. <laughs> With one being a reference from Sunny in Philadelphia. Why didn't the gym teacher touch me in middle school? I was so cute back then. I would have molested me. I don't even know how to respond. What the f- <laughs> What's that? Yo! For the tier 2 Azrael! What the hell? <laughs> Azrael Ragnar just subscribed for two months. Thank you! <laughs> That <laughs> honestly, great unhinged message. Uh, okay, I say very unhinged, very unhinged. He's talking about himself. It's to someone who's a mod slash friend to him. So you know, I think it's very unhinged, but it's whatever. Like to me, I I don't think we need to. Fucking condemn him for making a stupid comment about himself. You know? Nightlight. Hi, what's up, Nightlight? I'm Flop, I guess I'm a Muzel. It's very, very fucking unhinged. It's not something great to say, but it was said in private to address the person. It's... To me, it's whatever. It's like... It's unhinged. It's unhinged as fuck, but... Maybe I'm just really desensitized. Who knows? Today we lose brain cells, we do. Yeah. I was cute, I was energetic, I was fun. And another one being when they were 19 years Except old and very...
it's self-deprecating something something humor. Yeah, something like that. Just sus. It is it is very it is weird, it is weird, but I don't think we need to uh, condemn the guy for it. Bro wanted to be a victim. <laughs> Red flag behavior, but not enough to be a problem on its own. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Bro, a server I'm a mod in, a loot poster turned out to be under 18. Oh my god, no. But he's friends with the owner, so I need to go through 20 pages of nudes, deleting them individually, brah. Brah! Sent me him, bro, though. What the fuck? Okay, that one's bad. Okay, that one's bad. That one's bad. Uh, Ty, that bad. You saw him too, you better share. Just copy it and send it here. Wait, how young? 17. Oh, who cares? Jesus. No, no, with this one being added, that's bad. No, that one's really bad. Chair? Very mentally immature. I'm from this. So, what's your thoughts on Swarm Game Mode? Swarm is fun. Screenshot and not knowing the previous context, it's very hard to know it is a joke. The transphobia. Even as a joke in that regard, like. <sighs> uh... <sighs> no, it's bad. It's bad. It's just bad. It's just really bad. It, it's it's bad. Herbophobia, many of the logs were edited, but Tiger has previously publicly spoken about how open their community is to trans people, and others are part of the LGBTQ. So basically nothing but support for trans people and those part of the LGBTQ. And then- I would be surprised if a femboy would be- homophobic and transphobic. I would be really surprised by that, what the hell? There were the claims of- This is a Ford smear campaign, yeah. Like... Okay, he did s like... Uh, go back to this one. This the one. Another one being when they were 19 years old and very mentally immature. I'm okay, they were 19, mentally immature. From the screenshot and okay. not the previous context. This was in 2020. It's very hard to know. It is a joke. The... What's its full I sentence he's saying? And I'm sorry. Being when they were 19 years old and very mentally immature. And from the screenshot and not knowing the previous context, it's very hard to know. It is a joke. Okay. Okay. So there was. Allegedly, there's more context. Allegedly, there's more context to it, and it's a joke. I really, really, really hope that it's just a joke. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. It's looking really bad for With him, the though. Transphobia and herbophobia, many of the logs were edited, but Tiger has previously publicly spoken about how open their community is. I hope he said JK under that. Who cares? I really do hope so. Is to trans people, and others are part of the LGBTQ. So basically nothing but support for trans people and those part of the LGBTQ. And then there were the claims of toxic behaviour by Tiger, especially towards the mods. And it just boils down to they weren't doing their job, so they- Just letting you know I banned Gilg from the server, he shit talks me constantly and doesn't bring the right atmosphere into the server, so yeet. If he tries to contact you about it, ignore him. Honestly, fair. If you have a mod who's just shit talking you, get them f get them the fuck out of here. That's fair. Got removed, made a document, and cherry picked evidence from DMs that looked damning, just to get back at Tiger. Ah, However, I see, I see, I see. So things were taken out of context to make Tiger look really bad in this situation. I mean, we just saw the second screenshot there earlier about the pictures. And out of context, and even with the knowledge that it's a joke, it does look bad. The only true thing about but the still. document were the shirter commissions. Once again, a shirter is a child in animes, more specifically, a boy. Tiger's OC is uh. also classified as a shirter, with the ever so uh. comedic line of the river a thousand years old. I've had this so many times, I just want to put oh 7.62 in my head. But the commissions were of the OC and supposedly safe for work. But it's up to you well, to Well, if it's safe for work! Bro, if it's a safe for work, if it's safe for work, it's okay. Bro, there's nothing wrong with safe for work images of like shoulders and lollies. If it's safe for work, it's absolutely fucking fine. Jesus Christ. What conclusion you want about that? I personally could not give a fuck. 
as long as it isn't on the level of Burke no Pika, and we don't get another three episodes of Burke no Pika, everything I'm is so right happy for the I world. But despite this. having I'm so their name cleared, their this, reputation man. was still in the toilet. Even to this day, people blindly believe their grooming allegations are very much true, due to how fast it spread, and little to no public knowledge on the actual truth. However, it was only going to get worse for Tiger. Not only is their million oh dollar stalker still persistent, despite a court order to stay away from them, something which they tried to sue Tiger over. But what? YouTube would... <gasps> the stalker tried to sue him over him having to stay away? Money, right? Money is gonna get him anywhere. I remember PewDiePie making a video, watching those videos while times. Oh my god! Take a swing as well, in the worst way possible. Now, Tiger reached over a hundred thousand subscribers, meaning they would get their silver play button, something Ew. they commemorated on their Twitter. Yes, this is the uh, picture they, what the fuck? they uploaded. If you're popping a tent right now, I would recommend removing the foundations because. There's a 12 gauge shotgun between those legs. Yep, that's a f that's a fanboy chat. That's a male. Just saying, chat. The dick makes a cutie. <laughs> Memorated. That's good. as cute. That's a cute outfit, man. Tiger does have style. That is real fanboy over there. Yep, yeah, that's the real fanboy. <laughs> Looks woman in the <laughs> Something wrong with Twitch. Kitchen just disappeared from my recommended channels. Wait, what? What do you mean? Maybe because you're following? On their Twitter. Yes, this is the picture they uploaded. If you're popping a tent right now. I would recommend removing the foundation. No, it's back. Okay. A Twelve gauge shotgun between those legs. Would have been scared there for a second. A to come. There's a twelve gauge shotgun between those legs. Now these play buttons take a while to come. I think it was three to four weeks. Jesus. Hmm. Let alone becoming eligible to get one. But as soon as they received it, probably being very happy at this event, proving everyone wrong, and withstanding the trifles and allegations made against them, and also proving femboy power is a thing. They were removed off of YouTube. There Their it is. Their account Tigerholic with over 100,000 subscribers was gone. So essentially, they just give candy to a baby, only to essentially football kick it <laughs> the length of a stadium. And they would keep... <laughs> ...dangling the keys of their channel in front of them, bringing it back, and then removing it again. Now, their channel was removed initially for going against the sex and nudity policy, which in my own opinion, they do make a lot of risque videos. Not entirely NSFW, kind of just hinting towards it. Now, YouTube moderation is a sh Sure. Their removing of channels and videos is almost never consistent. There are multiple channels I've that seen... make the same content as oh, I... Oh, I've seen that character. Yeah. I've seen Still that tweet on the platform, and most of the times monetized as well. So it actually baffles me why they wouldn't do such things as age restricting the videos. However, it wasn't entirely their own doing. Their stalker mm. was involved of once course. again. Oh my god, he's back. The mastermind is back. The mastermind is back. With them actually gloating that they got their channel removed. And then wow. admitting they did spam. I have been spam reporting Tiger for weeks. Tiger didn't do anything wrong. Oh, what? That guy's insane! And report their channel, so they aren't necessarily free of their stalker, and their channel is very far from being reinstated. However, their reputation is also far from being perfect as well. Even though Nuxtaku apologised and apologised privately that. to them, even potentially promising to do a video of Moist Critical to clear up the mess. However, no video was ever made, and Tiger's reputation is still tarnished. No, Nux, Nux needs to make a video about it because all the Nux fans are now thinking that Tiger is a furry pedophile. I don't know this guy, Bungo Tiger, and yeah. I, I apologized to him privately that. Let me let me be clear. Let me let me check exactly what he said. 
If I do a sequel with Charlie, I was planning on it, I'll try to clear the record more publicly. I'll also do more research. Again, I don't know right now, however, uh, I'll try to rectify any extra damage I caused and hope you can accept my apology. This was in December 22nd, 2022. 2022. 2022. He said he was going to make a sequel video with Moist Critical. Video never came. Now, I have to whack my this... flaccid floppy dick on the table and tell you the truth. No, I'm not going to say I was on Epstein Island. <laughs> no, I haven't been putting on an act this whole time. Yes, I am British. Yes, I do have a speech impediment in the form of an accent. But no, this video was going to be very different. As you can see, the title is The Degenerate VTuber Femboy, or something like that. Because I initially believed the allegations until I did some digging. But it turns out they were actually just a victim of a smear campaign. Oh, but don't worry, the uh, title's still going to be the same, because being called a degenerate in this day and age is a compliment. Especially if you make this type of content. Hugs, can you give us some more kisses? Um, sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, before fuck? you make an assumption about somebody, just make sure you do your research. And if there are any femboys watching this in their thigh highs, I have one question for you. Why is it a spot to stack donuts on your dick? But anyway, bye bye We're talking about... Well! He cannot beat the British alligators. <laughs> he can't beat the British alligators. No! Not the British alligators!